syukur dulu ya, mengucap syukur untuk pagi ini, haleluya mari saya ajak kita mengucap syukur Tuhan terima kasih, karena pada pagi ini kami dapat berjumpa, pertama dapat berjumpa dengan Tuhan di dalam ruangan ini oh haleluya, dan kami dapat berjumpa sesama saudara seiman kami Bapak di surga, terima kasih dan kami punya alasan yang kokoh untuk mengucap syukur karena satu kami dapat bangun pada waktu yang tepat dan kami sehat, puji Tuhan siap untuk memuji, menyembah Tuhan Haleluya, terima kasih, terima kasih Dan pada kesempatan ini juga kami mau merendahkan diri Mengakui segala pelanggaran kami Kesilapan kami di hadapan Tuhan Kami mohon ampun ya Bapa di surga Kami mengaku dan kami bertobat Sekecil manapun dosa kami Sebutir pasir pun dosa pelanggaran kami Kami mau akui kami mohon ampun Tuhan dan kami bertobat. Terima kasih Bapa di surga. Oh haleluya. Karena pada saat ini ketika kami sungguh-sungguh mengaku dosa dan bertobat. Maka sungguh pengampunan Tuhan itu datang. Dan ketika kami diampuni di mata Tuhan kami adalah orang-orang yang benar. Dan doa orang yang benar jika dengan yakin didoakan sangat besar kuasanya Dan pada pagi ini penuh dengan kuasa Tuhan Haleluya penuh dengan power daripada Tuhan Worship kami ada power Sharing firman Tuhan ada power Dan uh, penyampaian prophetic word Kata-kata uh, nubuatan disertai dengan power Terima kasih Tuhan, terima kasih, haleluya Ya sekarang Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. Haleluya mahabara masyata namaska Haleluya, haleluya Pada pagi ini kita mau saya mau melepaskan kata-kata uh, shalom Shalom buat kita semua, haleluya Syakara masta syahida naska Haleluya, haleluya Masyakaba natashkara naka Haleluya Haleluya Mari kita melepaskan kata-kata damai buat Malaysia. Haleluya, haleluya. Harabas sata syakata ramana syakabana. Haleluya. Amin, amin. Haleluya, haleluya. Terima kasih Tuhan. Pagi ini Bapak kami mau... Memelepaskan kata-kata uh, blessing Memberkati bangsa kami Tuhan Oh haleluya Doa buat damai Di Malaysia Doa buat damai Di Malaysia Doa buat damai di Malaysia Malaysia penuh damai Doa buat damai di Malaysia Doa buat damai di Malaysia 
Malaysia Doa buat damai di Malaysia Malaysia harus Sha 
Ya Tuhan, ku rindukan hadiratmu, memenuhi hatiku, rohku sujud menyembahmu, ya Tuhan. Hadiratmu memenuhi hatiku, rohku sujud menyembahmu.
di kami Tuhan Penuhi hati kami Penuhi hati kami Dengan shalom Dengan sukacita Sorgawi Sakayar kaman este sekayar Sakayar nabasan nadaka Biarlah Tuhan Baskan Masa dan tempat ini saya serahkan kepada Prof. Darwin untuk sharing firman Tuhan. Silakan Prof. Shalom dan selamat, selamat pagi. pagi. Boleh dengar? Can you hear me? Of can, can. Yeah. Oke. Okay. Okay. Amen. 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 Oh, pagi yang sangat indah Tuhan berikan kepada kita. And uh, very good to see all of you. Pagi ini, uh, sungguh ceria. There's so much of sukacita dan damai sejahtera. Uh, this is a morning that the Holy Spirit, Roh Kudus, akan terus memenuhi kita and akan memberitahu kita perkara-perkara yang akan datang. So, puji Tuhan uh, untuk this Tuesday morning prayer GAPM 5.30. And uh, I want to speak to you what the Holy Spirit showed me. Uh, and even now I can see, saya dapat melihat apa yang Ruh Kudus menunjukkan kepada saya dengan sangat jelas, a very clear picture which I waited for so long. Ada waktu-waktu dalam hidup kita, you can see suddenly there's an utterance in your life. Ada sesuatu yang roh kudus sedang berbicara, stop and listen. That is a moment where you need to be, you can be in a shopping complex, 
You can be in a car. You can be anywhere. When that utterance comes, take attention. The Holy Spirit is speaking to you. And this suddenly came. Waktu saya sedang berbuat persiapan. Uh, about nearly about uh, one week ago, satu minggu yang lalu, uh, I, was, I was just being uh, persiapan tentang bilik kamar atas, the upper room and counter. Why I'm sharing to you is, waktu sekarang, 2023, flashback 2,000 years ago, 2,000 tahun yang lalu, Di waktu seperti ini, 120 orang berada di upper room. They were waiting in the upper room. The promise of the Father, the promise of the Holy Spirit. They were waiting and I was studying about the book of Acts again. That is Acts chapter 1, Acts chapter 2, Acts chapter 3. Because the Holy Spirit was speaking to me about supernatural atmosphere. Atmosphere supernatural. Baru-baru ini, waktu saya berada di Miri, uh, about two or three weeks ago, I was in Miri on the Rock Church and the Agape Kingdom Church. Waktu saya berada di Miri, Sarawak, the Holy Spirit gave me a word for Sarawak. Very strong prophetic word for Sarawak, the, the Greja Agape Kingdom Church, and also Greja BM on the Rock. And prophecy it too was recorded. It was recorded, and very soon I'm going to release the prophecy for Sarawak. And I thank God also, even in the month of September, uh, the Hamba Hamba Tuan, there's going to be a gathering in Sarawak. People like Philip Mantofa is coming, but way before that, before Philip Mantofa, Derwin Philip sudah beri satu nubuatan. <laughs> Puji Tuhan untuk Philip Mantofa, the, the God servant is coming. But before Philip Mantofa, the Holy Spirit spoke to Derwin Philip, giving God the glory about Sarawak. And I will release the nubuatan very, very soon. It was recorded. About atmosphere. I'm going to speak about atmosphere. We are atmosphere changes. Amen. Kita adalah pengubah suasana. The supernatural is in you. From supernatural, you speak to natural. This is our position. When the Holy Spirit came upon the 120, the supernatural was in them. And they begin to speak to break down, break through. They begin to speak apa yang seperti mess, apa yang kelihatan hancur, mula bertumbuh dan bina. So I want you to know this morning as I speak and was, I'm meditating about atmosphere changer, supernatural atmosphere, I prophesy, I'm seeing a revival, not only a revival, a revelation meeting, such a conference with the word atmosphere, supernatural atmosphere, atmosphere changer. And the Holy Spirit told me to design a t-shirt. Waktu saya berada di Sarawak, a lot of nubuatan dari Sarawak, you know, and, and, and gave me a beautiful t-shirt, atmosphere changer. Di mana kita bergerak, atmosphere shift now. This morning, atmosphere yang kamu berada adalah atmosphere kemuliaan Tuhan. And from glory, you're moving to another atmosphere, dimensi yang lebih dalam lagi. The Holy Spirit is taking, I speak in the name of Jesus, atmosphere di rumah anda. Shift now in Jesus' name. When I was speaking about atmosphere in Sarawak, chains are broken. Chains are broken. Break out. When Paulus and Silas were thrown into the prison, mereka dibuang dalam penjara, tetapi atmosphere 
penjara itu tidak mengambil hidup mereka. Mereka mengubah atmosfer penjara. Waktu mereka berdoa dan mengangkat suara, atmosfer mula berubah di penjara. All prison doors are broken. Oh, we are atmosphere shifters. We are atmosphere changers. And I speak over your life. I want you to know something. Supernatural is in you. Of supernatural, you speak to the natural. That is who we are. When I was meditating this, ini yang saya mula melihat. Dengan jelas, I was buat persiapan. I'm not telling you a story. Ya. Waktu I'm buat di persiapan. Mana Sister Wani? Ada Sister Wani gak di sini? Ya, ya Sister Wani. Wani. Ada dia. Ya, ya ada, 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 ada di sini. Praise God. So while I was doing this preparation, almost sampai sudah tengah malam nak tidur, Sister Wani from US text me. Wow, waktu itu Roh Kudus baby, she never text me ya, tidak pernah. And she she text me from US, Pastor Devin, Pastor Devin Roh Kudus memberitahu saya kepada I. And she told that, apa yang saya sedang merenung and I was seeing was a confirmation. I saw a crowd, Makota, who rasyaka no botikama, crowd. Crown. Do you know what is a crown? Who wear crown? In the Old Testament, the king wear the crown. The high priest wear the crown. And I saw that crown and every day, this thing happened about two hari yang lalu and I was doing a preparation on the upper room and the Holy Spirit came upon the 120. There was a crown that came upon their lives. Makota ini separated them from the rest of the world. Crown means you're set apart. The crown of righteousness, the crown of glory. Wow. If you know there's a crown over you, no enemy can touch you. Tidak ada musuh boleh menyentuh anda. Because crown speaks about victory. Crown speaks about authority. Crown speaks about royalty. Wow. Amen. Powerful. And henceforth, the Holy Spirit began to speak to me even until now. Speak about the crown of God. Amen. And saya mendapat satu penglihatan. I saw a crown. Makota. A beautiful, golden, shiny and I saw like a red, red shining from the crown, the atas firman Tuhan. The word of God was open, and the crown was on the Bible. Wow. When I was just meditating on that, when I was just lying down, you know, and I'm getting a text. Waktu saya sedang buat pelayanan persiapan ini, Tuhan berbicara kepada even Sister Wani and I, I speak over Sister Wani. There was a crown of God. Waktu itu saya sedang berdoa untuk lima orang hamba Tuhan. I was speaking, praying for five servants of God. And when Wani texts me, I just told this word is for you. Makota. And that's what I'm going to speak to you. You know, uh, perkataan terakhir Yesus Kristus kepada murid-muridnya. The waktu dia sedang berbicara kepada mereka, I want you to know the Bible, the Word of God is like a crown over your life. The Word of God will crown you. And I want you as I speak, firman Tuhan kamu harus gambarkan. You have to a crown. Crown is powerful. Wow. And and waktu Yesus Kristus sedang berbicara kepada murid-muridnya. Dan terus dia diangkat ke syurga. Anybody know, here know what was the last word 
Yesus berbicara kepada murid-muridnya. Waktu dia sedang berbicara perkara ini, dia diangkat ke syurga. And the clouds received him. As you are speaking, you shall receive power. Kamu akan menerima kuasa. The crown is also a picture of power. This is not the world. But this is a power of the kingdom, which is a crown over your life. Crown is a picture of power. And he was telling you, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you. And you shall be my witness. Pengubah suasana di Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the end of the year. Waktu dia sedang berbicara tentang hmm. the promise of the Father, the Holy Spirit, dia diangkat. <laughs> and he went up. Sepuluh hari dari hari itu, the Holy Spirit came down. So I was just meditating upon this Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit came upon the 120, mm-hmm. why I'm sharing you about this, you know, many churches from now, many ministry organizations will celebrate Pentecost. Pentecost. And I declare unto GAPM, this is your Pentecost movement. Ini adalah pergerakan Pentecost kita yang sudah bermula. The problem is every time you want to enter into Pentecost, Pentecost, kita hendak masuk ke dalam Pentecost. Pentecost kita sudah bermula. Malaysia, Pentecost Malaysia sudah bermula. Pentecost Indonesia sudah bermula. We are moving dalam pergerakan ini. You no need to wait for Pentecost to come. Oh, bilakah Pentecost ini akan datang? Pentecost sudah bermula. And we are moving in this Pentecost. Kita sedang bergerak. Ishokomo talahata kilehe. Rosiban talahata. As I speak, I'm declaring there is a crown. Makota. Kingdom. A kingdom crown over your life. Oh, shatakamadu. Reseke mantanamu. Crown. Once again, I'm going to speak to you. Crown and Henceforth, you're going to hear me speaking crown, the crown of kingdom, the crown of righteousness. Why? Jesus Christ, Perman Tuhan Surat menulis, mengambil makota duri. Jesus Christ took the crown of town and has given us the crown of righteousness. He has given us the crown of authority. Crown speaks about authority, authoritas. Crown speaks about power, dynamis, kuasa yang lebih tinggi. Even authority is exousia, a higher level authority. Authority Jesus Christus, kuasa Jesus Christus. Oh, sata kamandala, hey. Oh, rabaseke, victory, wow. This crown, when he speaks about victory, is victory, Overwhelming. Lebih dari pemenang. Kita bukan saja pemenang. Kita lebih dari pemenang. Maksudnya, your tomorrow, masa depan kita, segala cabaran, all the challenges that is waiting 2023, 2024, Tuhan sudah memberi kita kemenangan. Lebih dari pemenang. Crown speaks about victory, power, authority. Authority. And finally, when I touch this topic, royalty. Wow. When you read the book of Revelation, I'm going to speak to you sekejap lagi. A word that is in my heart, I want to bless you. And when you see the book of Revelation, Revelation 1 and verse 5, Revelation 5 and verse 10, we are kings and kings priest to reign in life. So the crown of thorns, as I speak, the crown of thorns, makuta duri dari Yesus Christus the Tuhan, mengambil untuk kita. Untuk kita mengubah the crown of righteousness. Jesus took the crown of thorns. 
and give us the crown of righteousness. I just want to declare you are belong to the royal family of God. We are royal family. And, and this morning when I'm going to speak about crown, ada banyak firman Tuhan. There's a lot of word about crown. But I'm going to speak to you. This word crown from Psalm 65. This is going to bless all of you. And as I speak, I see a crown. The word of God, firman Tuhan. Will crown your life in a such a day that we are living in. Masmur 65 dan ayat 11. But before that, before we go to Psalm 65 and verse 11, I want you to know what is pesanan Yesus Kristus untuk semua yang ada di sana, di sini. Mari kita melihat Wahyu 3, Wahyu 3 dan ayat 11. This is the word of Jesus Christ. Wahyu 3, the ayat 11. Revelation chapter 3. Oh, shut up, come on. As I'm speaking, uh, it's Reverend Miran here. The Holy Spirit is showing me Reverend Miran. There's a crown of God over your life. Oh, shut up, come on. Kurasaka mantalabo, Reverend Miran Beron. Ada makota. There's a crown over your life. And I'm seeing all the words that is spoken to you. Kamu seperti berada dalam gedung singa. Like Daniel, you are in a lion's pit. Seperti berada dalam gedung singa. Kamu dibuang ke dalam satu gedung singa. Tapi roh kudus berbicara. Roh kudus sudah menutup setiap mulut. Singa itu, they will not touch you, Reverend Miran. This prophecy is recorded. If Reverend Miran is here, kamu boleh mendengar sekali lagi. You know, I sing, mouth of lion is shut because you are the lion of Judah is in you. Oh, and when Daniel came out from the lion's pit, terus dia mendapat promosi yang lebih tinggi. There's a crown over Reverend Miran and God is going to promote you. Tuhan akan memberi promosi untuk kamu. Cool. As I speak, the Holy Spirit just should be Reverend Miran. Kurasaka mandalahi. Amen. And what you think that ayat 11, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 11, Jesus says, I am coming soon. Hold on to what you have. Hold on to what you have. Is hold on to the word. Amen. Hold on to the word. The word is what we have. The word is spirit and life. Oh, shaka by Johannes Anam. That ayat Anam Protiga. The word I speak to you are spirit. And they have life. It is the spirit that gives us life. And the word that speaks to you are spirit and life. Every word is authority, power, victory. And it's the word of a royal king, a king who's coming back for us. When Jesus is coming back, he is coming back as a king. And he has made us all kings and priests. Imam Rajani, as I speak right now, let your faith go to another level. Faith can increase. Increase faith for everyone who are here. I'm coming soon. Who is coming? A king is coming for us. Amen. Oh, hold on to what you have, the world, so that no one will take your crown. Amen. Once you say it, amen, no one can take your crown. There's a crown over Apostle Jeepa. And no one can take it. Every one of us. This morning, there's a crown. Aku datang segera. Wow. Peganglah apa yang ada padamu. Apa yang saya pegang sekarang. 
I'm holding on to the word. The word moves with me. The word goes with me. The word is the king's word. Amen. The word is Jesus himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Kura basiki mela. Supaya tidak ada seorang pun mengambil makotamu. Every one of you who believes in Jesus on the Pentecost, this is what the Holy Spirit showed me. When the Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came upon 120, there was a crown over their life. There was a crown. And, and this morning, because I know crown is a big topic and this is what I'm studying, but I want to bless with you a word. It changes me the last six, seven days. It's Psalm 65 and verse 11. Masmur 65 dan ayat 11. Psalm 65 and verse 11. Amen, amen. And I'm just going to read this in New King James Version. After I'm reading this word, I, I'm just going to just prophesy over your life. Prophetic word. And there's a crown over your life. You will speak prophetic word. Prophetic word. GAPM is a movement that speaks prophetic word. Prophetic prayer. Prophetic movement, prophetic days, prophetic years. Prophetic is the voice of the Holy Spirit. Suara Rekudus melalui ferman Tuhan. And we move prophetically this morning. Amen. The crown is over your life. You no need to worry. Jangan kamu berada dalam kerisauan. When there's a crown, victory. Amen. Psalm 65 and verse 11. You crown, I'm reading in New King James Version, and after that I'm reading Basa. Wow. You crown the year. Amen. Engkau memakotihi, memakotai tahun-tahun kita. 2023. Wow. Even there's going to be pandemic, even there's going to be crisis. Perman Tuhan berkata, you crown the year with your goodness and your path. New Kingdom's version. What version is I'm reading here in the screen? Okay, can I see the screen here? Oh, amen. Yes, this is the right version here. They crown the year with goodness and your parts. Perjalanan kamu drip with fatness means abundance. Amen. Wow, the New King James Version. But Tajamaha New King James Version say you crown the year with goodness. And your parts, perjalanan kamu, will drip with abundance. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a crown. Power. Victory. Kira shata kamo. You crown the year with goodness. Amen. It's a prophetic word for everyone who is here. I'm prophesying. Masmur enam lima. The ayat 11. I like in bahasa. It says lemak. That means kelimpahan. Oh, syataka malahate kilebi. Kurasukumu mutilahe. Bahasa Indonesia ayat 12. Oh, ayat 12 ya? Oh, ya. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ya, ayat 12 saya akan baca ya. Engkau memakutai tahun dengan kebaikanmu. The goodness of God. Because there's a crown over your life. Jejakmu mengeluarkan lemak. Oh, syatakilah amadu. Perjalanan kamu. Abundance. And now I just want to prophesy. 
Saya akan terus bernubuat. Prophecy is the word of the Holy Spirit. Suara Roh Kudus melalui firman Tuhan. Dan saya melihat dengan jelas. There's a crowd. Ada makota di atas firman Tuhan. Kurasite kilihi dalam mantanabo. Kurasate kebe. I just want you to be in a atmosphere untuk menerima. When you receive the word, say, I receive and I activate this word this morning, oh God. Psalm 65. Masmur 65 dan ayat. Let it be a prophetic word for you this morning. It which says, "You crown, Amen." Tuhan memakai tahun kita. Wow, crown belongs to a king. Crown belongs to the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Kerajaan Tuhan di Malaysia, kerajaan Tuhan di Indonesia. Sister Wani, you are, you are in US, kerajaan Tuhan di US. Di mana kita berada, makota Tuhan, there is a crown of God. In your life, who rashatadaba? You are son and daughters of a king. Who rabasitikelena? This crown, you will move with this crown. This crown, maksudnya kamu sudah diasingkan dari dunia ini untuk kerajaan Tuhan. You belong to a king, and now the king says, "Whatever belongs to me, it is yours." Oh, Ramatakaba. I speak number one authority. Authoritas Tuhan di dalam hidup kamu. Pirabasi kilehe. Nemal tawa G-A-P-M. G-A-P-M, the authority of God. Authoritas Tuhan. Bagi G-A-P-M, meningkat ke satu level lagi. Going higher and higher. There's a crown. Just like how Apostle Jeeper has put, like there's a dove and fire. And I'm also seeing there's a crown. Makota Tuhan. Untuk GAPM. And this crown, I like to give thanks to God. It is the goodness of God. Kebaikan Tuhan. <laughs> oh, kebaikan Tuhan. Oh, kebaikan Tuhan. Rosata kamalahan. Oh, rasika mantalah adada. Rose kama many bad news. Kamu mendengar di Malaysia waktu ini. A lot of bad news. Banyak-banyak isu yang membawa berita-berita yang buruk. But I prophesy di dalam nama Yesus kerana ada makota Tuhan. Berita baik. Berita baik. Di dalam nama Yesus Kristus, kirata kiloho ada berita baik. There's a good news. Kurashiti kilehe lebon talahasi kimen di lebon dalahada. Number one, this crown gives you the goodness of God. Timalahasi ke bahandel. Kira dalam masa komun adalah dan perjalanan kamu abundance. The crown moves with you. Makota ini bergerak. Makota ini maksudnya the word firman Tuhan sudah crown you and moves with you. Kira sabat tu keloho, rete keman deloho si kelaba abundance. Ridana la ba sokomo tekilehe. Ridana la sokomo. I just want to take this time and allow the Holy Spirit to minister. Oh, Roh Kudus untuk berbicara kepada kita. As I speak in Jesus' name. Kurasa kaman lehe. Masmur 65 dan ayat 11. Mengambil alih hidup kita. Takes over your life. The word of God takes over your life. 
in Jesus name tiri syatallahu rubun takama mengambil alih hidup kita the crown of Jesus Christ makota ini mengambil alih kiri di lahan lebu tikilaha dalam hidup rohani anda get ready right now this what the holy spirit is saying number one is hidup rohani anda kurabasaka mantala dalam nama yesus kristus jangan selalu berdoa lawatan lawatan tuhan tuhan tidak mau melawat kamu the crown is already in your life dia hendak membawa kamu untuk menyentuh syurga dan mengubah hidup kamu. He wanted to have a heavenly experience, mengalami syurga. We come on, have a kingdom of heaven lifestyle dalam hidup kamu. Kalau kamu doa untuk lawatan, lawatan itu akan untuk seketika saja. Lepas tu, oh lawatan itu, oh beberapa tahun yang lalu. Beberapa bulan yang lalu, lawatan, lawatan is no more lawatan, because the crown of God, 120 orang, bila Roh Kudus menguasai hidup mereka seperti tiupan angin yang keras and the tongues of fire was no longer a visitation, habitation. Mereka diam dalam kerajaan Tuhan, makota Tuhan Yesus. Dalam hidup mereka. Dan tidak ada siapa pun boleh mengalihkan dari mereka. Sampai Yesus Kristus datang. There is a crown. So you connect to heaven. 24-7. You have a connection with heaven. And heaven is with you. Juga menyertai kamu. Kerana makota Tuhan. I speak heavenly experience. Heavenly vision. This is real. This is real. Kurasata kamandalobo, heavenly presence of a king in your life. Kilabata kamo to komo the king in your life. You move with the king. Kurasaka bata laba hidup rohani kamu. Your spiritual life this morning, I speak, is no longer visitation. Habitation, habitation, habitation. Oh, tempat Tuhan Yesus diam. A king is living in you. Yesus, Raja kemuliaan, the king and majesty, diam dalam kamu. Karena itu hidup kamu ada crown. If you are believing this, take it in Jesus' name. Receive. Kurasatakaba sebelum kamu mengubah suasana di luar di sana, Roh Kudus mengubah suasana kita. Kira suatu komolah atakaba lohe riban tu lobo si teke mandaloho kira ban. I'm seeing a new. I'm seeing a spiritual life. I'm just prophesying. Perlu buat ini kepada semua yang ada. I'm seeing a royal clothing. Oh, rasata mantalaba. Oh, rasata pakailah pakaian bagus. A royal clothing in Jesus' name over your life. Your spiritual life is clothed in glory and grace. Wow, rasata kamandaloh. Sister Naomi, Elder Ujang's wife, Sister Naomi, there's a crown over your life. Oh, Shatakamanda. Oh, Sibanda Laho, Ratanakamatalaha. Kuraba, I want you to be bergembira lah. Kurasaka ma, kerana kaun ini adalah permanent dalam hidup kamu. Kurasika ba, you will be called a woman of favor. Kuraba sakil ho, kerana this is a crown of favor. When I speak crown, it's 
permanently in you. You are royal daughter of God. Oh, a favor. Anugrah Tuhan. You'll take over dari saat ini. Ya, Roh Kudus berkata, Masmur 37 dan ayat 4, Bergembiralah. Ku rasa segala keinginan kamu dalam jangka masa 2023 ini. Tuhan sudah memakotai tahun kamu dengan anugerah. Masmur 37 dan ayat 4. Bergembiralah. Inginan kamu diberikan losaka manta breakthrough di takamalahata breakthrough the favor of God will bring breakthrough unto kamu like never before oh perman Tuhan ini adalah untuk kamu sister Naomi you know when you have a crown you connect with a king. And this is where I'm going to prophesy. Sometimes the Holy Spirit moves in my life to speak to one person and one person, the Holy Spirit opens up the word for everyone. Sister Naomi, Micah chapter 2 and verse 13. There's a king, Raja Jesus Christus, yang akan bergerak ke hadapan untuk Break open. Break open is breaking open all limitation. Ada perkara-perkara seperti limitation. Whatever you wanted to do for your children, even pelayanan, always there's like a limitation. But this morning, limitation is broken. This is for you, Sister Naomi. Mika chapter 2 and verse 13 as I speak untuk semua yang ada di sini Yesus Kristus Raja Tuhan bergerak membawa breakthrough penerobosan breakthrough is happening right now God is going to crown the, your year the goodness of God Tuhan melakukan kerana ini adalah kebaikan seorang raja dalam hidup kita Yesus Kristus adalah seorang raja dengan hati gembala. He is a king with a shepherd's heart. Oh, hati gembala selalu baik untuk domba. And God is speaking right now. Mika chapter 2. Oh, rasaka manta. You know, the Holy Spirit is saying, as I'm praying for Sister Naomi, this is your breakthrough now. Sister Naomi, there's a strong anointing over your life. You speak breakthrough. You speak breakthrough. Spiritual breakthrough is happening right now. Penerobosan terjadi dalam hidup rohani anda. There's no more limitation. Jesus, the King, has removed every limitation. Heavenly. Heavenly presence. You know, the world will stay. Ada satu statement di dunia ini. Sky is your limit. But let me tell you, untuk seorang anak raja, we are seated in heavenly ready. Not sky is our limit. We are seated. Kita berada dalam syurga. Amen. Sky, heaven is above every sky. So in the world, they will limit you. But Jesus says, you are not limited. Oh, Father, I thank you in Jesus' name. Dari hari ini, hidup rohani kamu, the goodness of God, kamu akan melihat kebaikan seorang raja dalam hidup rohani kamu. Risata kamu to komando. Conrad, Brother Conrad, oh, Sika Manta Lahanda, I don't know you personally, but I like what you're wearing. <laughs> oh, Sakaba, I was in Israel in 2019, just before the lockdown. God gave me an 
kesempatan untuk berada di Israel and there was an encounter and October ini seramai 50 orang almost about 50 of us akan ke Israel because I'm seeing you brother Conrad <laughs> you're very you know the, the Israel oh shataka but there is a word for you you are crowned You are crowned, Brother Conrad. Labasaka Maksinya. God has already chosen you while in your mother's womb. Tuhan sudah memilih kamu. Kuraba, you are going to see your destiny. Destiny, that is the word for you. Your destiny for the kingdom of God. Destiny. Destiny kamu akan, your destiny will change. Your destiny is changing right now in Jesus' name because you are going to carry, you are going to carry a very powerful, a very powerful word that the Holy Spirit is going to give you now. Limitation is broken by the conrad labato you are an ambassador that is the word you are an ambassador i want you to study about ambassador oh rabbi your destiny is like you are an ambassador of the kingdom of god oh ras uh, ambassador represent the kingdom And, and the Holy Spirit empowers you as ambassador. But every nation you go, you will represent the embassy of the kingdom of heaven. So henceforth, in Jesus' name, your destiny is going to go to nations to nation. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Brother Conrad, you will go to destiny to Nation to nation, represent the spiritual Israel. You are God's spiritual Israel. Israel is so real to you, but the Holy Spirit wants to take you even to a new level. I'm seeing limitation is broken. In Jesus' name, the crown of Jesus over your life. You are going to experience, I'm seeing a step, a step. It is like Jacob. The place that you are in right now is called Bethel. Bethel. You'll have a strong connection with Bethel. Just like Bethel in Israel, you have a strong connection of Bethel. Where you can just lay your head on a stone called Bethel. The stone became a pillar and a house. You are ambassador. Right now, heaven is open over your life. Heaven is open over your life, Brother Conrad. You are crowned. You are crowned many times. Dangers, many documents is supposed to be saying rejected, unsuccessful, but God turned it to success. I'm seeing documents are becoming success. Henceforth in your life, many permits God will declare success and says it is a proof. You'll have a very strong connection and I'm seeing the place that you are in is like Bethel. The heaven is open. Angels are ascending and descending. Surely you will say, how Awesome is in this place. Surely this is the place of God. But the Conrad, you just move. But hand forth, you are going to bring an ambassador message about the kingdom of heaven in your life. Oh, I'm seeing there's going to be partnership in your life. There's going to be many partnership coming in Jesus' name. Kirasi come a very strong anointing upon you. In Jesus' name I pray. This morning, God says in Psalm 65 and verse 11, wow, 
As you read this verse, kamu merenungkan firman ini memakotai tahun kita dengan kebaikan. God has already crowned. That means you speak supernatural speak to all the challenges in the politic, challenges in in the pandemic that going crisis. Everything changed. The goodness of God has taken over. You know, uh, Pastor Jason and myself, bulan depan, God has called us to go to Kashmir. Kashmir is the border of India. That's where the whole defense of India is in Kashmir. Kashmir, no one do want to go to Kashmir. is very dangerous. Very dangerous place. But baru baru ini, I got a call to go to Kashmir, Pastor Durbin. Go to Kashmir, but when you go to Kashmir, you're going to have an upper room there, and there's going to be a place where Kingdom School is going to be established in Kashmir. Everything is prepared, but who's the right person? When they called me, I told Pastor Jason, are you willing to come with me? Pastor Jason said he will go with me. So we had already a fund to a mission network, but who to go? Then the Holy Spirit told me to go. And I know in Jesus' name, the goodness of God, the kingdom of heaven takes over Kashmir. That is where the border of the Indian nation is so many decisions is made in Kashmir. And I'm speaking in Jesus' name. The kingdom of heaven is in Kashmir. Oh, Rasata command Lahob Rasateki Mehanda. Kula Sakaba. I'm finishing here, but I want to prophesy to this unto setiap kamu yang ada. DGAPN. Your years is crowned with goodness and abundance. You know, Sister Wani know apa yang terjadi that morning. The moment she released a blessing of God from that day onwards until now, the blessing of God melotok and it's just exploding in my life. Oh God has just crowned with goodness. And I want you to know Setiap kamu, I tidak ada masa untuk bernubuat, untuk ramai di sana. But tell Jesus Christ. Because I'm finishing here, ya. Yeah? I'm sudah tamat di sini. You know, the great commission. I just want to read to you this word. The great commission. You must know the great commission. All of us. Semua kamu is commissioned by God to go. Go must be in your heart. Go must be in your mind. Go must be in your body. Go for the kingdom of God. Go. The word God, G-O-D. 90% of the word God is G-O. Go. 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 You know why? The crown. Today, I'm just speaking about authority. I'm just taking the word authority. Matthew 28. I'm finishing here. No, G-A-P-M is always on a go. We are a movement. We are always on a go. This week, kita akan berada di Johor. We will be in Johor. Oh, we are going to Johor. The kingdom of God goes with us. Amen. There's a crown of God. I pray Johor meeting. Uh, Apostle Jip and Jip and inform you, there's going to be a crown movement. There's all, as I speak, there's a prophecy for Johor. In Jesus' name. There's going to be a shifting in Joho. Joho, the royal family of Joho. God is protecting the royal family of Joho from the Sultan of Joho. There is going to be a very strong connection in the years to come. Joho will rise in Malaysia. Joho, whatever things in Joho. State of Joho, everything is going to change. 
in a very short time, Johor will be a place where national Christian conference will be held. The Holy Spirit is showing me very clearly. Johor will be a place where national conference will be held. So, Joe, though Apostle Deeper, you're coming to KLGAPM, Johor Bulum Selesai. Kamu posisi saja di HQ. But you are going to see the moment the Apostle steps and comes into KL, the blessing of God is going to come in Johor. Rosaka, and you will have a strong connection in Johor, Apostle Chipa. I see a royal. I'm just praying for the Sultan of Johor, his royal family. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name, atmosphere shift. Mari kita semua berdoa, ya. I'm about to release a prophetic word for you, but I want you to just lift up your hand. Kamu adalah Imam Rajani, the crown, ada makota Tuhan dalam hidup kamu. Kamu mengubah suasana Malaysia. Now untuk Johor, untuk Johor, the royal family of Johor, I speak atmosphere, atmosphere because banyak keputusan dari Johor pada masa-masa akan datang will affect Malaysia. One statement from Johor, the whole Malaysia is going to shake. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Tuhan memakotai kita seperti Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abino, seperti Yusuf. Kita adalah, adalah pentabiran kerajaan Tuhan. Di pentabiran Malaysia, kita mengubah suasana. I speak to who? God will grant wisdom to the royal family of Joe. Goodness and abundance. You will see. Johor Sultan will be a blessing not only for Johor but Malaysia to come. Atmosphere is shifting for Johor. Business, siapa yang ada di sini dari Johor? I want to pray and prophesy all those who are in this Zoom dari Johor. Sekarang dalam nama Yesus, Masmur 65 dan ayat 11 sudah mengambil alih. Semua akan menjadi breakthrough untuk kamu. Kamu bergerak saja. Those who are doing business, those who are working in in in, in pertabiran carrier, swasta. Oh, in Jesus' name. You know, I'm just saying as we go to Johor, there's going to be a strong new door connection in Johor. And I'm seeing one more time. Wow. Johor, wow. Abundance. There's so much wealth. The Holy Spirit is saying, is in Johor, the royal family of God. The blessing will come from a royal family into the family of God. Kamu akan melihat. So in Jesus' name, I speak to all yang ada di Johor sekarang. Breakthrough. Crown. Crown. Amen. And this is the word I bought to give. Matthew 28. I'm, I'm already ending here. Matthew 28. Because this is a command. This is instruction. The crown is over your life. Somewhere yang ada di sini, today you make a decision. God, I want to go for a mission. That mission can be in your tempat kerja atau tempat kamu berada atau pelayanan. There's a mission that you will go for God. That you want to serve God. Go, go. Kamu pagi-pagi selasa bukan selalu menerima, menerima saja. Bukan untuk menerima saja. Tuhan sedang siapkan kita untuk pergilah. Go, go. And now I want to speak. Every time you come in to receive, receive. But now I tell you in Jesus' name, go, go. Go. My angel Jesus Christus, there's somebody out there menunggu Untuk menerima kasih Tuhan. Sedang menerima kesembuhan. Dalam nama Yesus Kristus. When the crown is in you. 
Kamu dalam supernatural, kamu mengubah orang-orang sakit, disembuhkan melalui GPM. God is not only using the apostle, prophets here. God is using all of you. Semua yang ada di sini. Pergilah. Cukup kamu sudah menerima. Enough of receiving. Now go execute what you have received. Kuraba kerana Masmur 65 dan ayat 11 berkata, perjalanan kamu penuh dengan lemak, kelimpahan. I just finish here. Matthew 28. Matthew 28. Crown of authority. Amen. Makota otoritas. Matthew 28 ya. I'm just finishing here. Matthew 28. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Matthews 28 ya. Kebanyakan waktu kita tahu Matthews 28 dan ayat 19. Everybody knows. Amanat agung itu. Therefore, kerana itu pergilah. Jadilah semua bangsa muridku dan baptislah mereka dalam nama Bapa dan anak dan anak roh kudus. Sebelum kamu pergi. Roh kudus sebelum memberitahu 120 untuk Pergi, makota Tuhan sudah turun dalam hidup mereka. Jawapan itu ada dalam ayat 18. And Jesus came to them. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to you. That is the crown. Amen. All authority is given to you and me. There's a crown of authority. Amen. Makota otoritas. Yesus mendekati mereka dan berkata, Kepada ku telah diberikan segala kuasa di syurga dan di bumi. That's why I'm saying this morning. Hidup rohani kamu ada connection dari syurga ke tempat yang kamu berada. Ada makota. Tidak ada siapapun boleh mengambil makota itu dari kamu. Bahyu 3 dan ayat 11. Saya berdoa saat ini siap untuk pergi untuk menginjil. Mungkin kamu akan berjumpa dengan beberapa orang. Kamu beritahu saja berita baik. God can do it. God can change your business. God can change your economy. God can bring hope. You just connect. Authorities Tuhan sudah diberikan. I just speak to GAPM. All authority. There's a crown of authority. Heaven and earth is already given. In Jesus' name. Back to you, Apostle Dipa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, let's, let us give glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, puji Tuhan. Um, before we proceed, um, I, my heart move. Yeah, uh, to introduce, memperkenalkan, I have one uh, new friend, new brother from the Lord, and I want to, I, I'll ask him. Saya minta dia untuk memperkenalkan diri dia. Yeah, want to introduce him, uh, himself to all of us here, and uh, he will speak in English, and I will uh, uh, minta uh, Pastor Peter. To interpret to bahasa, yeah. So some uh, here they uh, uh, can understand English. So now I pass the time to Aki, uh, brother Conrad to uh, share. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Yeah, shalom. Yeah. Yeah. Baru caca ada doa kita hino. Malik hadokan. Dah sepi God Lord. The master, master of the universe. universe. Yeah. I, I come the, the Jewish heritage, descendant of Abraham. Abraham. This time is Sarah, Sarah and Keturah. I'm Levi, Ibrahim, Judah, and I have a Manasseh bloodline. Also, I have Keturah downline, and I've been a social worker spreading the good news. Uh, I'm doing the work for God's will. 
as he guides me every day. I connect with him to understand what he wants from me, what is his desire, and my desire for him. And I have been anointed heavily, protected, and preserved for a purpose. And the will of him is to share with everybody that he is very active and involved in you, he loves you, and he wants you to turn to him. He understands your problems, he knows your difficulties, but the good news is that today, as the pastor speaks, yes, the kingdom, the gateway, translate for me. Here, 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 Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm I'm audible. Audible. yeah. okay. Perfect. So, so I origin from the Jewish heritage, heritage. Oh. and Indo Saraswat Okay. My family is in the social work for 250 years. Okay. We reach out to Everybody, Everybody irrespective, irrespective of caste and creed, we hear and we share what we receive. Okay. I'm ambassador for the Jewish community. Hallelujah. I reach out to where God guides me to. He speaks through me and the message is revealed to me by people and I visit. And am I audible? Yeah, okay, all right. Right. Okay. I off, so, I off, yeah. Yeah. So then recently I have been guided to share the Torah. And saya didorong untuk mengusikan Torah. And to bless you, I would request you that this twenty fifth of May. The Torah was given to Moses. The Ten Commandments. And this is the belief system which God wants you to understand that from the Ten Commandments and throughout the Old Testament, the Torah, there were 613 mitzvot, which is the commandment which the Jewish community follows today. They believe in kosher concept and they are very deep into understanding and hearing from God directly. They call him Hashim, but we know who he is. He revealed himself to us. He is Yeshua Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Now, the thing is, on 25th May, please pray overnight because you, specifically Johor is the gateway. As I seen long ago, the vision it will be the gateway to open up to the entire world and the east side will be benefiting and also the west and north and south wherever this voice goes through. I would like you all to understand more that be connected to Israel and you will receive a lot of learning because the English language does not fully justify the Hebrew words. The Hebrew alphabets are more deeper in meaning the blessings what you have right now will manifest multiple times in every day and the anointing will be dispensed to everybody. It will open up all your avenues of frustration because that frustration what is around you is only answerable and solved by the Almighty. He knows what you go through but he wants you to connect to him directly. While I release the words through what I receive from the synagogue to the rabbis, 
who actually come from Zafat, which is the spiritual place where the Kabbalah is learnt and taught to everybody. It will give an mm -hmm. opening to you guys and to the whole world because you are a royal priesthood. Mm -hmm. And your royal priesthood is about sharing. Male and female are considered one. God only sees you as doer of the will of God. And you will be anointed with a lot of gifts of the Spirit, which includes healing, exorcism, amen. blessing. And lots of things are going to flow through you. Amen, amen. But I would request you to keep the Shabbat. Okay, Shabbat starts Friday evening, Singapore 6.30 for 25 hours. Go on kosher. Kosher is the way of doing things. Avoid unclean things because they don't bring benefit to your health. Real, real, spend at least minimum five minutes a day if you have to just meditate and try to talk to God and God will speak to you. So whatever you are struggling and whatever are your problems, it's already solved. You don't have it. The reason it's not manifesting faster because mm -hmm. you are not seeking it desperately. The more desperate you seek, like the way Daniel and his friends sought God when King Nabuchadnezzar issued a statement to kill everybody. God visited him in the night and shared with him the vision which King Nabuchadnezzar had concerning his kingdom. So the kingdom of the rock is what is in your hand. It is sent and destroyed all the past all the past kingdoms and for you to know that through Johor, through your ministry, your ministry will be connected to the Israel synagogue where it all started, where Yeshua comes from, his tribe, the Judah, and the, all other tribes together with the Ashnakazis and the Shapadis and you together to do the will. It will flow and you must receive it as it comes and you must proclaim it as you receive because you have already been gifted the multiplication, whatever you believe, believe it for God and do His will. So this is where I will share with you. I will share with you whatever I receive yeah. and we will work on the sermons together. We will understand every alphabet of the Torah into replication into English and Malaysia, Bahasa, Indonesia and other languages. This will basically be a connection between Israel and you and you will be the evangelist, each and every one of you, and you will only grow more and more to love God, to understand God, because He will reveal His Himself to you. He wants to reveal Himself to you. That desire, which is between you and Him, will slowly be connected to the Yahweh, your favorite way, that's Yeshua, Hamashiach, the Adonai, the Elohim, is He, the Hashem is He. Okay, so it's going to come. I've seen the vision. It's happening sooner than I understood. And it's involving everybody. Be connected to Israel. Amen. Stay focused onto it. So whatever was happening there is happening in your life. And Amen. adopt it because that's the way God wants you. Stay healthy. Be healthy. Be prosperous. And be of a sound mind, clean spirit, and the power. Because God himself is infinite light. He diminished a light, and that light is you. He speaks to you directly, so that the void which is between you and the Almighty, okay, was to create the universe, the world, and to create you for the desire to know Him and to reveal His name. So through His name, all things will happen for you for the good. Seek first God and His kingdom. His name revealed to you and all things will be freely added. Added means given to you. Yes, given to you from all aspects of all channels, of all openings. You will only receive and you will be generous to give back to your ministry for the good works they are doing mm -hmm. and they will be doing lots of good works in the coming days and weeks for being an example of how Yeshua was in his life. He only gave, he only multiplied, and he only spoke it 
and he said one thing which is there that he will never leave you and never forsake you so even if you are in a downness moment of your life just remember that's when you need him the most but don't yeah, because yeah. you need him the most only when you're down you need him every day of your life because only he knows you from your mother's womb that's when you were very safe inside because your mother took care of you in the womb but the moment you enter the world the problem started the bad the flood but that world is around him he is the light and he surrounds you so now he is everything for you this is the message for you okay thank you brother conrad yeah just want to yeah, ask yeah. Really yeah. yeah 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 it's okay uh where are you now you are you live in i think uh where are you now live I live in the land of the lion, Singapore. Ah, uh, yeah, to Singapore, uh, Singapore, Singapore. And, yeah. And how long? How long you've been in in Singapore? I have been here since two thousand and one. So my heritage is Goa. I come from Goa. Goa had a very big, significant Jewish population. It's above Kerala. So Kerala and Goa were are just a few hours away. And during the King Solomon time. The diaspora was sent to Hodu, Hodu that is India, and the tribes were populated all over India. There were many tribes in India, like in the Ibrahim, the Manasseh, the Ben Israeli, Chapadi, then Cochin Jews, and Goa had a big community of half a million Jew, which was uh, because of the Portuguese and Spanish inquisition persecuted to conversion. So the remnants of them are actually descendants of. The Jewish community and oh, the Abraham yeah. generation. So uh, we got to know and we share with you as we know. <laughs> yes, Hallelujah. Jadi we thank God. Kita mengucap syukur. So minta maaf ya karena um, tidak dapat diterjemahkan. Yeah. Apology to all our uh, team here cannot uh, interpret to bahasa. Anyway, we want thank God for we have one here. Yeah, from Sunday of uh, yeah. You have mixed yeah. Uh, Sarah and Katura from Abraham and then yeah and Tadunka uh, yeah maybe Prophet Darwin also maybe have the Jewish blood we don't know <laughs> Hallelujah from Kerala the from dari ibu yes, blood there is there is there is because there is a link uh, because the entire Koch kingdom of Cochin was as apparently the diaspora and uh, there were Ethiopians uh, and uh, Shapadi which is basically the second section of the Israeli community. There are two only, Asakazi, which is the Europeans. Shepard, these are the South with Spanish, with Ethiopia and mainland Israel, which is also King Solomon, the David, King David generation, the Judah, which actually came down here and they stayed. And Cochin yeah. and Kerala and Goa are actually neighbors. So it's just up and down and God's own country. That's why it's called. And we basically on the top of it had the many synagogues, many synagogues and even Kerala has many synagogues. Community is very vibrant, but the Portuguese destroyed everything and converted. But the, actually, the females were still surviving. The males were killed in the war. So mm -hmm. from there came 500 years of not knowing who everybody is, but they actually from the Jewish community I'll because they it. were converted. Yeah, so Pastor Devon also has him in him because I can recognize it. <laughs> I do have a favor of recognizing things. Yeah, can Wherever they are, yeah, <laughs> I can. The features are very prominent, so I can see that. <laughs> Uplink is also there, so that's why he's very passionate. You know, it only really right. comes from passionate from the passion, which is from the descendants. You know, who have been the promise. Hallelujah, praise Lord. Okay, thank you very much, Brother Conrad. Okay, so sorry, um, Pastor Peter. Yes, uh, tidak I'm berjalan sorry. seperti I'm yang sorry. kita plan. Yeah, yeah tidak pakai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um. Uh, Oke, okay. ya. Yeah. Boleh kasih kesimpulan dari Pastor Peter apa yang dia dapat? Oh ya, yeah. Pastor Peter boleh kasih sedikit kesimpulan. Uh, now we okay. do the conclusion. Your sharing just now, uh, Brother Conrad. Pastor Peter will do the conclusion. Ya, yeah, silakan. Oke, okay. um, Tuhan mengikut apa yang Brother tadi share. Uh, Tuhan mau kita mengikuti hukum sepuluh. Tora, nah dia sudah mau memperkenalkan dirinya kepada dunia dan Johor adalah satu satunya adalah salah satunya tempat di mana dia akan menyatakan diri dan memulai suatu gerakan yang besar 
Amen. Dan uh, Tuhan mau kita lebih mengenal Dia, bukan hanya seketika uh, ketika untuk uh, mencari Dia bila ada keperluan, tapi kita mau memperkenal, mengenal secara pribadi supaya dia dapat uh, melakukan lebih besar lagi pekerjaan pekerjaan di dalam hidup kita dan melalui hidup kita dan gerakan ini akan Tuhan pakai untuk me- melakukan apa yang Tuhan sudah rencanakan. Ya, jadi Uh, di, di akhir zaman ini Tuhan akan mau mengenalkan diri dan kita mau uh, lebih lagi mendekati Dia supaya kita lebih mengenal Tuhan. Ya, itu dia punya suruhan lah. Amin, 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 amin. Oke, jadi kita sudah sampai di acara. Ya, kita ada masa 15 menit lagi. We still have 15 menit. Um, Oke, okay, puji Tuhan. Karena ini bukan selalu ya, this is not, uh, bukan yang uh, pertama kali uh, jarang. Uh, ini is uh, no uh, rare uh, kita jumpa orang yang berdarah Yahudi. Ya, bukan apa juga special apa, tapi memang mereka umat pilihan. So dia boleh kenal antara satu sama lain. Like Brother Conrad said, he can recognize Prophet Darwin. Yeah, through the yeah, the the spirit, through the yeah, maybe the the punya muka, the faces, <laughs> yeah. So thank God. Um, tapi kalau saya beri masa, kalau ada sesiapa ada pertanyaan kepada uh, Brother Conrad, silakan. Ya, singkat. Uh, uh, di, kalau dalam bahasa BM nanti diterjemahkan ke English. Ada apa siapa ada? Ini peluang, ya. Uh, ada pertanyaan. Ya, jangan yang berat berat lah. <laughs> yeah. Oke, okay, ada pertanyaan, peluang, ya. Oke, okay, semua terkejut kan? Ah, tidak apa kalau tidak ada. So, um, oke okay, kita mengucap syukur. We thank God for this opportunity that God is blessing, memberkati GAPM. Saya I shared um, apa? Uh, shared to brother uh, Conrad about GAPM. He the in- interested. Want to know? Dia mau, dia begitu tertarik sekali mau mengenal uh, GAPM pelayanan kita dan dia ini seorang yang uh, uh, apa sukses ya. Yeah? Uh, dia brother brother Conrad is someone who is so blessed ya yeah. ya yeah, so blessed uh, di di Singapore dan dia juga tergerak hati mau uh, memberkati ya yeah? ya yeah, inilah ini ini perintah. Uh, ketika Ab- Abraham dia kata God said uh, terkutuklah orang yang mengutuk engkau dan diberkatilah orang yang memberkati engkau curse do so curse you and bless bless do so bless you and true Ab- Abraham seluruh dunia the whole world will be blessed ya yeah? dan kita tahu semua kebanyakan cang- kecanggihan uh, all the uh, uh, computer semua yang brand seperti I don't know McDonald daripada Z from ya semua kebanyakan daripada orang Yahudi ya so kita mengucap syukur uh, firman Tuhan digenapi so kita puji Tuhan ada link dengan uh, orang yang uh, umat pilihan ini Ya, kita sendiri ada produk sendiri Prophet Darwin ya, harap dia ada <laughs> ya, dia memberkati kita selama ini dan I believe Brother Conrad God will use you to bless the this group ya. Yeah? I mean this movement. Now we are going to be we receive your blessing and uh, we also want to bless the Israel ya. Yeah? Uh, saya juga diberitahu bahwa Uh, tepat sekali apa yang dikatakan oleh Prophet Darwin tadi bahwa uh, Brother Conrad dia adalah ambassador dan yang memang dia adalah ambassador kepada uh, Jewish ya orang Yahudi uh, again uh, Brother Conrad you are the ambassador of what again just now you are the ambassador of uh... the Jewish ambassador to the Gentile world wow wow Yeah, so dia adalah to make sure that the lion and the lambs can pray together, pray together. Lion and the lambs will pray together. Wow. The the Gentile world are the lambs who need the feeding. The Jewish world are the sheep who are being guided. Mm-hmm. So basically, to follow Lord Adonai Elohim and to do His will because He gave the three commandments 
feed my sheep sheep are those who do not know the young ones mm. that is the new creation the gentile world then guide uh, feed my lamb guide my sheep sheep are the jude the judaica ones the more senior ones they also called the lion mm. and then follow so the three commandments which basically is set forth by him the lord adonai the hashim so we call him hashim hashim is a judge so we have to understand the relation between the creator lord okay adonai elohim lord god the creator who created mm -hmm. man and so they we are children of god and hashim which is his next next role because he is the judge who comes again as a king to judge so we say uh, hashim and that is the compromise between judaism and messianism and hallelujah Yeah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So yeah, waktu jumpa dia, we, when we met on the Saturday, Saturday ya, uh, saya jumpa dengan dia, karena saya tahu kalau orang yang kuat betul dalam bagian Yahudi, agama Yahudi, mereka ini memang anti kepada Kristian. Ya, yeah, Jews or the Jews are very strong, dia actually anti uh, to the Messiah. But when I talk to Brother Conrad, he said, I'm, com uh, I'm compromised, ya. Yeah? Dia compromise to link, ya. Yeah? Uh, pada kita semua so dia bukan seorang Yahudi yang ekstrim walaupun dia mempraktikkan uh, Taurat tetapi dia mau ada menjadi sahabat to be our partner ya yeah, partnership just now Prophet Darwin mention about partnership ya yeah? ya yeah, about partnership and this is not coincidence ya yeah, ini adalah the gift of a prophet that they know you Prophet Darwin he uh, ya yeah, they don't he don't know you And, and, and I didn't tell him about you also. And then dia sudah mem, uh, dia uh, bernubuat tentang sebagai ambassador. He prophesy about ambassador, the partnership, and wow, the crown. Yeah, I believe we say amen to the prophecy. Okay, so terima kasih kepada semua. Ini kalau begini ceritanya kita perlu kelas Inggris ini. English class dan minta tolong nanti Sister Joy Janet ajar kita English class. <laughs> ya, so kita sudah sampai di penghujung ya Anda sudah yang yang terakhir. So kita masuk um, uh, ada Apostle Hezekiah ada di sini? Uh, tidak ada. Tidak ada. Oke okay, ya. Dia tidak sehat badannya sakit. Oke, 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 oke. Iya. Oke, okay, so seperti yang kita tahu bahwa GAPM kita bukan di bilik saja. Kamu paham di bilik? GAPM is, GAPM is not only in the room, Zoom. But we also go, going out. ya. Yeah? We will spread the good news. Kita akan mengembangkan kabar baik uh, kepada semua bangsa-bangsa. ya. Yeah? And I thank God that uh, Brother Conrad will uh, introduce someone. Um, to be our partner, yeah, we pray uh, in Singapore. Kita belum, kita sedang berdoa mencari ada partner, ada connection, key person di Singapore. Dan dia ada sebut, saya akan introduce satu orang. Dia kata, he will brother Conrad want to introduce someone, isn't it? Uh, oh, you, you yourself. So kita akan nanti GAPM uh, will go to in Jesus name in the future go to uh, to minister and to bless Singapore. Yeah and we kita mau we want to visit the synagogue as well if allowed ya. Yeah? Kita mau melawat uh, Bait Suci Sinagog di Singapura. Saya pernah melawat di sana ketika saya study di Singapura, saya uh, jumpa dengan Rab, Rabi. Uh, okay, this um kita mau apa mau berinteraksi kita mau belajar GAPM tidak mau lagi ter, terkurung ya buat kita akan berkembang uh, dan as the holy spirit lead ya yeah. oke okay, so terima kasih thank you all dan sama masa dan tempat ini saya rasa oke okay, you can uh, oh ya yeah. um, tentang the, the how to say the, the offering Uh, kamu boleh lihat you can see in the brochure ya yeah? you can see the uh, in the bottom of the brochure di bawah risalah itu ada tertulis um, siapa yang digerakkan untuk uh, to support GAPM ministry ya yeah, kita we, we apa we welcome ya yeah? the, the support we need the support to uh, spread ya yeah? to uh, to mengembangkan lagi 
uh, pelayanan GAPM ini. Ya, yeah, so by next year uh, kita akan masuk ke world enter new level GAPM. Ya, yeah, it is not because I move to KL bukan karena saya pindah di KL but I can sense I can feel something will happen in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, but as prophesied by the prophet Darwin just now that I will not be only in KL but also bukan di KL saja but all go down to JB because of brother Conrad. <laughs> yeah, because he's from Singapore and he dia ada menceritakan kepada saya sesuatu sesuatu uh, idea yang sangat bagus untuk memberkati pelayanan para hamba Tuhan. And ini perlahan step by step. Ya, yeah, so uh, nanti saya akan jumpa dengan uh, Brother Conrad. Hopefully, uh, saya harap I can arrange meeting with Brother Conrad and the, the GAPM team. Ya, yeah, hopefully you will be ya. Yeah. Are you uh, you will be in JB until until when? 25th, 26th. Uh, are you on the 26 you still in JB brother the uh, 25th i will be uh, a whole night awake and i would also request you also please stay awake because that day the lord god gave the 10 commandments and when moses came down the children of israel were sleeping but the entire time froze even the mosquitoes and the the uh. nature froze Uh -huh. God came down because God is coming down to you hmm. this 25th night after sunset. Hmm. Stay awake the whole night. Please don't sleep. God will speak to you because he's coming down to you. You don't have to go up. What the children of Israel did, what they went, they were put to sleep. And then they thought their soul would rise up to God. But that's wrong. And they were in right in some aspect. But God was trying to tell them that he wants to come to you. So he, he's going to come to you because the Ten Commandments is the Torah. Amen. So that will be coming to you. And the only two important things which you need to know is love God. That's the first thing. And that's it. If you love God, because God's light is in everybody, then you love everybody around you because you know that now man, God created man in his image and woman in his image. But the light is in everybody. That light is God's light. So you see them as God also. So that is the connection which will help this ministry to reach out to everybody, to show them the truth. The truth will set them free. Amen. Amen. I will be Amen. on 25th in the morning. Uh -huh. Because 25th in the evening, I'll go back. I will set it right. Then we all together, I request you from Pastor Durban to spread it to all everyone to receive the command. First command is very important. Amen. And the rest Amen. is for the people. Okay? Amen. 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 Okay. This, um, saya waktu jumpa dia pun saya bingung-bingung karena... Uh, kita tidak berapa biasa dengan term istilah mereka ya. So anyway kita uh, belajar ya, belajar dan saya tahu hati dia. Dia mau memberkati especially the business people ya. Dia mau memberkati and then please ada uh, KBF bersiap sedia nanti kita akan arrange te uh, tengok bagaimana dia share daripada uh, setiap huruf Hebrew itu Ibrani itu ada meaning ya. Okay, so kita um, what was it? Okay, yeah. Okay, ada sedim. Okay, we will arrange. Maybe we will arrange time. Uh, uh Zoom with you, uh, brother Conrad, the the, the GAPM team. The I, karena saya mendengar sendiri dia share dari hati dia. Uh, begitu banyak yang Tuhan taruh di dalam hati. And I believe ini masanya Tuhan mau memberkati uh, bangsa ini melalui GAPM dengan Brother Conrad. This is the time, this is the season where God want to bless this nation uh, together, Brother Conrad and GAPM. Yeah, okay. uh, God will uh, entrusted to us something that God store. Uh, in the hand, in the heart of Brother Conrad. Okay, sampai di sini dan masa dan tempat ini saya said, now kita masuk di dalam uh, Holy Communion, uh, meserahkan masa ini kepada um, Apostle Kenny. Siapa? Is it Apostle Kenny or Prophet Darwin dalam jadual? Coba tolong cek. Uh... Apostle Kenny. Apostle Kenny, ya. Yeah. Oke, okay, Apostle Kenny akan uh, pimpin kita di dalam uh, acara perjamuan kudus. 
Uh, so until last Sunday, can please prepare prepare the bread and the uh, wine. Hallelujah. Oke, okay, uh, kita bersyukur firman Tuhan, nubuatan dan perkenalan dengan kongres, kongres ya. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. Nah, prepare uh, your punya bread, prepare your bread. Now is the holy communion. Semua saya kasih sedikit waktu dan waktu yang sama saya terus mengingatkan kita bahwa perjamuan kudus. Bukan hanya acara mingguan atau bulanan, tapi perjamuan kudus adalah satu kesempatan yang indah untuk kita ingat kembali kasih Tuhan. Kita ingat kembali pengorbanan Yesus di kayu salib. Kita ingat kembali oleh karena roti dan cawan ini, yaitu dimeteraikan oleh darah Yesus dan roti di tubuh Kristus, sehingga kita ambil dengan iman, kita bersatu dengan Kristus. Kita lakukan ini, kita mengingatkan kita saudara dalam Kristus. ya Satu darah, oleh darah Kristus kita sudah bersaudara, jadi keluarga. Kita juga ingat bahwa roti ya itu di mana membuat kita uh, ingat kembali pengorbanan Yesus di Kewa Salib. Penderitaannya. Dan kita lakukan ini sampai Yesus datang kedua kalinya. Kita berjalan sebagai satu pasukan di mana kita punya visi untuk pergi jadikan semua bangsa murid Kristus. Nah, mari pagi hari ini ambil angkat rotimu. Ini bukan dilakukan oleh Rasul Paulus, bilang bukan saya. Saya lakukan ini, saya ikuti apa yang telah Yesus lakukan. Yesus lakukan dalam Matius 26, ayat 26, dia katakan, dia ambil roti dan dia bagi-bagikan kepada muridnya, dan dia berkata, inilah tubuhku yang dipecah-pecahkan bagi banyak orang. Setiap kali kamu ambil, kamu makan, Ingat akan aku, kata Tuhan. Mari kita ambil dengan iman tubuh Kristus. Setelah itu dia juga ambil cawan. Di belakang cawan ini dimeteraikan oleh cara Yesus. Kita akan ambil, kita akan minum dengan iman. Yesus berkata, inilah darahku darah perjanjian yang ditumpahkan bagi banyak orang. Ambillah dengan iman setiap kali kamu lakukannya, mengingati akan kasih Kristus. Mari kita minum bersama. Mari kita berdoa. Bapak kami bersyukur tubuh dan darahmu Yesus Kristus yang telah dikorbankan 2000 tahun lalu di atas kayu salib. Sehingga kami, anakmu, ambil dengan iman, kami diingatkan bahwa darah Yesus mengalir atas seluruh sanubari urat-urat kami. Dan tubuh Kristus bernyatu dengan tubuh kami. Kami bersatu dengan tubuh Kristus. Semua yang ambil di dalam grup JPM pagi ini. Kami sudah menjadi tubuh Kristus dan engkau kepala. Dan kami adalah Anggota tubuh, mata, hidung, mulut, tangan, kaki Tuhan di bumi ini untuk menyampaikan kasih Tuhan kepada suku-suku bangsa yang belum mengenal Tuhan. Dor, kuatkan kami yang lemah disembuhkan, yang dikuatkan, yang sakit dipulihkan, disembuhkan dalam nama Yesus karena kami sudah sebagian dari tubuh dan darah Yesus. Kami lakukan ini sampai Yesus datang kedua kalinya. Kami lakukan ini supaya kami semua dapat mahkota yang Tuhan sediakan untuk kami. Dan mahkota itu akan kami persembahkan kepada Yesus. Karena hasil daripada buah-buah pertobatan, buah-buah roh kudus, buah jiwa-jiwa yang kami bawa kepada Tuhan. Terima kasih Bapak. Kami terima tubuh dan darah Yesus dengan penuh ucapan syukur di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus. Amin. Amin. Silakan, Apostol Jipa. Kita sudah di um, sudah uh, di hujung acara. We are going to finish uh, closing. So saya jemput, I invite uh, Pastor Roni untuk pimpin kita dalam doa penutupan. Ya silakan Pastor yang kita kasihi. Ya Pastor Roni silakan. Oke okay, kita berdoa. Bapak Surgawi, Bapak yang baik. 
segala pujian, hormat, dan kemuliaan kami kembalikan di hadirat Bapa, sebab Engkau yang teramat baik dalam kehidupan kami. Bersyukur untuk pertemuan kami pada hari ini, bermula daripada jam lima setengah pagi, sehingga pada saat ini Tuhan berakhir. Dan sekalipun ini berakhir, namun kami percaya roh kudusmu tidak pernah berakhir berbicara dalam kehidupan kami. Bapa, terima kasih buat pujian, terima kasih buat firmanmu, terima kasih buat setiap nubuatan yang telah diberikan. Kami amenkan, kami terima dengan iman kami dan terjadi sesuai kehendakmu. Berkati setiap yang telah pun melayani pada hari ini, baik pujian maupun firmanmu. Dan berkati juga setiap yang terlibat di dalam menyelenggarakan program Zoom ini Bapa. Tuhan Yesus kami bersyukur. Biarlah Bapa berkat kasih setiamu menyertai kami Bapa sekarang sampai Maranatha. Tuhan Yesus kami bersyukur, kami persembahkan hidup kami sebagai persembahan yang hidup, yang kudus dan yang berkenan. Itu adalah ibadah kami yang sejati. Terima kasih Bapa kami bersyukur. Hanya di dalam nama Tuhan Yesus Kristus. Haleluya. Amin. Amin, amin. Ya, muted, Pastor Jika. Ya, we uh, unmute our microphone and then we say shalom. Ya, yeah, hi to yeah to Brother Conrad again. Thank you very much, uh, Aki. Aki is a brother. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe you can be yeah, you can blow your sofa. Yeah, kita yeah. Ya, yeah. sofa kalau dia ditiup kuat dia uh, tidak direkam oleh mikrofon ya. Ya, yeah, saya Oke, okay. so terima kasih, thank you very much, thank you again, brother uh, Conrad, you, uh, Cohen, Amen. and uh, yeah, Grace. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, brother Christy, thank you. Yeah, uh, sister Sylvia. Ya, yeah. Angu, ya, yeah. dan Esta Emelda dan semua. Oke, okay, God bless. Terima kasih, Brother Christy. Sisa, Peter Win, thank you very much. Pada pagi ini. God bless. See you on uh, on the fifty six. Ya. Terima kasih. Oke, okay, shalom, shalom, shalom. Ya, yeah, nanti kita akan kita akan belajar lebih dalam. We will learn more deeper about the Jewish. Uh, about the Torah from uh, uh, Brother Conrad, we pray that God will arrange, yeah, arrange. Okay, I will close the Zoom. Thank you very much. Shalom, shalom to all. God bless. Okay. Shalom.